So she got approved. Truth must be dearer to everything else. If some, sometime if I say, knowledge is dearer to me, wealth is dearer to me, beauty is dearer to me, then you will be not successful in understanding yourself. When you say truth is dearer to me, for the sake of truth, I am going to sacrifice everything else. Then only you will transcend to that conscious way. That means you have to be absolutely fearless. Some of the qualities Krishna mentions in Bhagavad Gita of a pure soul. And the first one he says fearlessness. The moment your pure sight, you cannot assert any truth. Fear and truth are anti to each other. They cannot go hand in hand. No. I'll give you one example. Sridhar Swami, a very famous saint, he has already decided that he will now search for truth. He was a married person. He was a householder. But he decided, now I must exclusively spend my time in contemplating on the nature of the truth. Siddhar Maharaj, Bhagavad Gita Vaishnava Around 7th century or 8th century. और जैसे मैंने बताया अभी कि सत्यान्वेषी जो होते हैं सत्य की सत्य की संधान में जो होते हैं उनको हर समय निर्भय की स्थिति में रहना पड़ेगा निर्भय अगर वो भय की भयभीत होकर हो जाएंगे उनको सत्य नहीं मिल पाएगा सत्य और भय ये दोनों दोनों विपरीत चीज है जहां भय होगा वहां सत्य नहीं होगा जहां सत्य होगा वहां भय नहीं होगा तो इसीलिए मैं श्रीधर स्वामी जी के बारे में बता रहा था श्रीधर स्वामी जी जो है वो गृहस्थ थे शादीशुदा थे और राजा की उस समय जो राजा थे उनकी एडवाइजर थे कुल गुरु थे ही वॉज दी एडवाइजर टू द किंग ऐसे समय आया उनके जीवन में जब वो सोचे कि मुझे अभी भगवान के बारे में संपूर्ण रूप में अपने आप को समर्पित करना चाहिए आई मस्ट सरेंडर टू कृष्णा कंप्लीट तो उन्होंने ऐसे ही सोचकर करीब रात मध्य रात्र में घर त्याग करने की निश्चय किए ही डिटर्मेंट दैट आई विल लीव टूडे माई होम जैसे ही वो घर छोड़ रहे हैं लिविंग इज हाउस ही हर्ड 
the cry of the newborn baby from the adolescent room. Bagel wala kamre se navyaar shishu ki randan unko sunai diya. He knew that his wife is pregnant. Unki patni garbhavati the. तो जैसे वो घर के अंदर गए देखे कि पत्नी मर चुकी है और नवजात शिशु शिशु जो है रो रही है रो रहा है एज सुन एज ही एंटर्ड इन साइड द हाउस ही सॉ दैट इज वाइफ इज ऑलरेडी डेड एंड His son, newly born, is crying. Then he contemplated, "My Lord, I wanted to surrender to you completely, and what is this taste? What should I do? Pratna kiye Bhagwan ko, hey Krishna, main to aapko sampurn roop se samarpan karne ke liye bahar ja raha. Ye kya?" परीक्षा मेरा ले रहे हैं आप तो उसी समय एक चिपकली 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 पता है लीजर छत के ऊपर से नीचे गिर गया तो छिपकली मां छिपकली के साथ छोटे उसके बच्चा दोनों एक साथ गिरे मां मर गई बच्चा ऐसे सोचते सोचते उनको देखा ही पड़ा कि छोटा चिपकली जो है वो घूम घाम कर कीड़े भी खाने लगा विद इन वन आवर सो एट दैट टाइम ही सॉ वन लीजर ए फीमेल लीजर With her baby fell to the ground, and the female lizard died. Who survived? The baby lizard. As he was contemplating on what he should do, within an hour he saw the small lizard started moving and started eating small small insects around. Then he realized that if lizard can be properly taken care by Krishna, my son will be surely taken care by Krishna. So he has seen that if God can take care of a small lizard, if he can save a small lizard, then he will also be able to take care of my son. He is thinking that his heart is broken. He left home, and then. Next day, the king was going in a procession through the same route where Sri Dhar Swami's house was there. Fortunately, it was early morning, so the atmosphere was very serene. The king could hear loud cry of the son of the baby. Immediately the king recognized this is my advisor's house, so he sent the people to look at, and so and the people found that Sri Dhar Swami is not there, his wife is there, and the baby is crying. Obviously the, the king recognized this is the son of a great Brahman, so he took care of him. And he brought him up in his kingly palace. So, Sri Dhar Swami, as he did that, the next day, Subha Subha, Radha, Ushi Dasta, me, ja rahe the, because Subha ki samay tha, 
वातावरण बहुत शांत था बच्चा की जो रोदन जो है वो क्रंदन जो है बहुत अच्छा से सुनाई दे रहा था राजा को तुरंत पता चला कि ये उनकी एडवाइजर की घर है क्यों बच्चा इतना जोर से रो रहा था रो रहा है इसलिए अपने आदमी को भेजे तो पता चला कि उनकी एडवाइजर घर पे नहीं है माँ मर के मर, मरी हुई पड़ी है तो राजा ने वो बेटा को बहुत खुशी की सो वॉट आई एम ट्राइंग टू से सर्च फॉर ट्रूथ इज समथिंग दैट वी शुड नॉट ट्रेड विद एनी एल्स नो आई कैन ट्रेड सेम थिंग सिद्धार्थ एंड सिद्धार्थ गौतम ही वॉज सेंट फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम आउट साइड इज होम बिकॉज द किंग एज इन प्रोजन इज सन घर के अंदर सो He got married. He had a son, Rahu. And then King realized this is the time he must allow his son to see the kingdom. Because after he dies, his son has to take care of the kingdom. So he told his assistant, "Please go and take my son out of the house." And this is the first time he he went out. And he. He saw a sick man. He saw a old man. He saw a dead person. Every time he asked, "What is this? Is this also will happen to me? I'll become sick. I'll become old. I will also die." The assistant said, "Yes. That happens to everyone." The fourth one. He saw a Vaishnava man with a danda in his hand, roaming, looking very pleasant, full of smile. Says, "Who is this?" Now he is the seer of truth, seeker of truth. So, Satya ki khos mein hai. So, immediately, Siddhar Gautam told the assistant, "My dear friend, go, go back." I am not going to return. Tell my father, don't search for me. Nothing on this earth can bring me back to home unless I see the truth. I realize the truth. So Gautha started performing severe austerities on the top of Rajgiri Mountain near Patna. <coughs> His followers are very thin. Severe austerities, no food, only breathing, and you are about to die. A little girl came with little sweet rice or some sweet substance. He was about to die. So as soon as given that, he accepted it. Because he accepted it, his followers said, "Take what." This fellow is our leader, but he is eating. He is enjoying. So they rejected him. But that is actually the arrangement of the providence. So being alone, he went to the next place. Both were sat under the tree. And when he started meditating on the absolute truth, in his mental plane, subtle plane, he was attacked by lust. Many beautiful women try to seduce him from all directions. This also happens. I have been preaching, and, and many times the boys will come and they will tell, and after some, you know, they will enjoy chanting Hare Krishna. They are very peaceful. Two years, three years, some some also after six months they will come and tell me, sir. I am getting sexually agitated. 
my point you have to tolerate yes material plane will attack you you have to show your determination so buddha was attacked he was not buddha that time kesav bhuta buddha sarira jay jay deesa hare so he was severely attacked but in the main form he did move he was just sitting there all direction is getting attacked and because he conquered his senses he attained bodhisattva he became perfect this is this is it this is how one should see seek the truth okay so
कि दीवार सब कुछ गोबर में लग पाता पूरा एवरीथिंग वाज प्योर एवरीथिंग वाज प्योर नो नी फॉर फिनाइल और अदर थिंग्स another thing animal bone haddi janwar ki haddi agar aap pakad lenge mana jayega ki aap apavitra hoge according to vedic culture in vedic culture that's why dog is not allowed to reside inside house cow is allowed to reside inside घर में गो माता रखोगे दूध भी मिलेगा हैं? वाइट डॉग यू विल सी डॉग रोमिंग डॉग दे कैरी द बोन सम डेड बॉडी दे ईट एंड दे कैरी द बोन सो दे रेडी But here you see in the temple we use conser. When conser is blown, auspiciousness is involved. Is there anybody who has kept the blowing of the conser in your mobile? Eh? Huh? You have not sucking. You don't have constant blowing. Tell everybody. Say. Eh? So when you blow the constant, immediately you feel also. How many of you heard the constant blowing? You feel happy or unhappy? Happy. Are you telling truth or not? You feel very happy, yes? Why? Veda has said, "Conser is also a animal bone, but this is used for the worship of Krishna. In every occasion, sacred occasion, whether it is Nam Karana Samskara, Upanayana Samskara, Vivaha Samskara, in every traditional aspect of our life." कौनसा लीजिए उस कौनसा समझ में आना ना संक 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 समझ में आना संक बजाते हैं क्यों वेद वो है कहता है इट्स अ बेसिक स्टेटमेंट सो एनीथिंग वेदी सुन नॉट बी अर्ग्यू वी सुन हैव दैट नेचुरल फेथ Vedic literature is infallible. Eh? Let us see some of these things. Present Indian subcontinent is referred as Bharat Varsha. The entire world is referred as Mahabharat. That's right, Mahabharat. It's a fact. Five thousand years ago, entire world was part of Bharat Varsha. And you know that America was not there before five thousand years ago. All of you know that, right? So if you see, if you go towards eastern side, everywhere, everywhere, okay, everywhere, there is uh, the vestiges of any culture, including Indonesia, Philippines, Cambodia. Burma, China, Japan. You know, when I went to Japan, my collaborator told me I'll take you to Asuri restaurant. So I knew Asuri is in Bagotam. He take me to Asuri restaurant because he know that you know we are vegetarian. So when I went to the Asuri restaurant, I found you have to remove your stuffal, enter inside, you sit on the floor. And there will be wooden platform, 
and they will serve you vegetarian food. Same thing now when I was in Shanghai, in Pagoda, in the Buddhist temple, they have also vegetarian food. The vegetarian food concept has only gone from India to all over the world. You must recognize this. Garuda is the carrier, national carrier of Indonesia. All Indian cultural, many, many cultural things are all there in all this part because they were Java, Bali, Sumatra. Now you go to Bali, you will feel this is a Hindu country. Although Bali is part of Indonesia. You know, when people, what is his uh, name? Aryan, Aryan. such a wonderful name. So, when you make, uh, you want Aryan to make sleep in Bali, what do they know? They sing, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna.
भाई फर्स्टेन सुभाष का एंड रेविड फ्रॉली आई हैव दिस बुक आल्सो यू नो सुभाष का इज अ प्रोफेसर ऑल ऑफ देम आर प्रोफेसर्स इन अमेरिकन यूनिवर्सिटीज एंड द रिटर्न दे हैव एक्चुअली एस्टैब्लिश इंडिया इज द क्रेडल ऑफ ऑल स्लाइडिस you have all studied in your history book aryan culture came to india from outside nonsense absolute nonsense you are very fortunate let me tell you you are very fortunate you are in kanpur this place bitu this is the place of aryavarta this is the place where first footprint of human being came and this is this is the beginning of human civilization and you are that link and shockingly we accept that aryans invaded india and they came here that's how indian culture started now and from there they came to india all nonsense in slang language all books it you want to read please read this book subhas kak is a very authentic professor and very well recognized right that are accused against the theory that indo european people only arrived in india in the middle of the second millennium to millennium bc and support the out of india theory out of india theory. all civilizations have gone from india it's a fact you go to uh,
a nicely made gold thread in sediments more than 320 million years old, a metallic jar more than 600 million years old in rocks from pre-Cambrian age. If human civilization was not there, how they can find a gold necklace around 320 million years old? Back. The first significant African discovery related to the human origin occurred in 1930 when Professor Hans Reich of Berlin University found a human skeleton in the upper part of bed 2 at Oldu Y, Gore, George. Tanzania. Modern dating method gives a late early Pleistocene date of around 1.15 million years for this site. That means a human skeleton was found okay, from a place uh, that goes back to where Pleistocene is. I don't know what is that, but that is around 1.15 million years ago. And here, this, the breeze that was built by Lord Ram, connecting Rameshwaram to, uh, to Sri Lanka. In fact, the Setu was still there until 1963, I think. In 1963, there was a big storm and oracle because of this setu was broken. Otherwise, that setu used to be the center of Rameshwaram. Now, center of Rameshwaram has shifted to the Shiva temple because this, this was broken. Okay. So, you see that this is the NASA picture, the breeze, and if you do a, a carbon dating on it, you understand this breeze is almost 1.7 million years back. And if you go by the very calculation, the Dwapar Yuga is 0.8 million years and Treta Yuga is 1.2 million years. Lord Ram came in the beginning of Treta Yuga. So 1.2 plus 0.8 is approximately 2 million years. So Lord Ram ruled the Entire of the planet for 13,000 years. 13,000 years. He ruled. And that is around 2 million years ago. Okay? And this bridge is a witness to this. Right? And still, we do not have pride in our own culture, in our own book. Ramayana mythology eh? and Sydney Sutton novel is wonderful. Eh? My dear friends, take pride in your own culture, own heritage. So these are all different pictures. So it is estimated that this breeze is 1.7 million years old. According to Veda, Lord Ram appeared approximately 2 million years ago. I explained to you. Yeah. So okay, so you all of you know this, right? Dwaraka, the uh, ASI uh, you know, record. There is a nice documentary made by one of the person. You should get that documentary. You will see wonderful uh, uh, the structure of the Dwaraka uh, that is submerged within the ocean. And uh, I will tell you one very simple thing here. How earlier people used to remember mathematics. So here you see, Gopi Bhagya Madhukrata Srangi Sudhi Sandhika Hala Jivita so this is a kind of a prayer. O oh Krishna, the fortune of the gopi, destroyer of the demon Madhu, protector of cattle, he who ventured with ocean depth, 
destroyer of evil doers, one with plow on the shoulder, and bearer of nectar may protect us. Appears to be a prayer. Yes or no? Eh? But if you go to Kotopayari Sankhya, okay, you can do a Google search on Kotopayari Sankhya. Okay, in Kotopayari Sankhya, based on this uh, letter, you can formulate the the mathematics. Okay, so alphabets have numerical values like ka, ta, pa means one. So if we read this sloka with rules given by the coding te technique of Kotopayari Sankhya, this particular verse. In one way it is prayer to Krishna, the other way is the value of pi. And value of pi up to what level? Even you cannot even memorize. Right? So up to 31 decimal places, the value of the pi. Similarly, in Rig Veda, you see that? Tathachas Maryate Yojo. Sahasram Dvedi Sapedvi Chayojane Ekena Nivishadhene Ramamana Namaskute So this is a prayer to Lord Sangha. And, and if you actually translate this, this is in Rig Veda. If you translate, you calculate it, you will find the speed of light that which is saying, O Sun, you are travelling at the speed of Sahasram Yodanam Dvedve Satyadve. So if you convert that, so it is remembered, salutation to the sun, the traveller of 2202 Yodanam in Hape Nivisa. Okay? So that means you owe sun, you are travelling at the speed. Right? And that speed, if you find out, it is exactly 185, uh, 016169 miles per second. And Ring Veda was compiled by Vasudeva in 6000 BC. Okay? And the modern value of speed of light is uh, 186, 282, 397 miles per second. Right? But still so called sociologists say that this Rig Veda is written by nomadic people who didn't know even how to write. And one of the idiots among them is Romila Thakur. I wish she is here to hear. Right? So this is how people actually give bad name to anything very they want to destroy our heritage, our culture, everything. Why? Because so-called Hindus, after 1947, have given up their own heritage, own culture. So this is my appeal to all of you. I spoke this by passing two chapters, just to first bring faith in you. And my dear friends, please, Please adore that which is about yourself. This is our culture, our knowledge, our heritage. So I should stop here. So there are so many things are there. Uh, let us stop here. As Krishna says finally, Janma Karma Charmendiyam Evam Yo Vedi Tattvataha Tekwa Deyam Punar Janma Naiti Mahameti Swar So Krishna's work, Krishna's activities are Divya, Transcendental. See, yogis want to catch Krishna, they cannot catch. But here Mother Yashoda is able to catch Krishna. Why? Because she has transcendental love for Krishna. It is not an activity in material space. It is an activity in the consciousness. <coughs> Similarly, Mother Yashoda is binding Krishna. Who can bind Krishna? Nobody. Nobody can bind Krishna. 
small child, isn't it? How long it will take to find a small child? But the mother has to the time just that. Oh, this Jitne sare rasi hai. Threads, thread ko kya kehte hain hindi Rasi. Dhaga, dhaga. Jitne sare dhaga hai. Apne ghar mein, apni padosi ghar mein. Sabko baan kar, baan kar, baan kar. Maya ne lage rahi pura din var. Krishna ko maan nahi. फिर भी दो अंगले कम हो गए जितने भी जोड़ो दो अंगले कम क्यों क्योंकि भगवान को बांध नहीं सकता वो असीम है अनंत है अब फाइनली वेन कृष्णा सॉ दट हर मदर इज प्रोस्पेरिंग एंड डिटर्मिंग टू बाइंड यू and when Krishna wants you to find him, then only you can find. Then if in love you can find Krishna, otherwise not. This is called Divya. We have to develop transcendental love for Krishna. Okay? So so we have told everything, transcendental knowledge we cannot gain by speculative method, it has to be gained by descending, Guru, Sisya, Parampara. And how we access, how we have access to Vedic knowledge? Through Guru, Sisya, Parampara. Nobody should claim that I will learn Sanskrit and then I will start reading, then I will understand it. Now, by accepting the center and the Guru Sashya Parampara, I will learn this. Someone may have? Did you follow? Any question? I took a little longer time because there is Prasadam for you. And because if I would not have finished, then again I would have continued. So sorry for a lengthy long talk. But this was important because we need to first of all have a faith in that which is ours. And I can tell you India is still one country because of one culture. I am born in India, Orissa, but I go to Sirana, I go to Gurubai, I go to Udupi, I go to Tirupati. You are born in Gujarat or you are born, born in Maharashtra. You come to Jagannath Puri, you go to Badrinath. <coughs> Do you follow what I am saying? It is a cultural binding that has kept India one. Not so called Indian constitution. So that is why we have to be culturally trained, educated, and be civilized. Question, question. Sir, uh, regarding the uh, having our own offspring, you told one reason. So is it the only reason or are there any other? I think having our, our own uh, sons. Oh, that. <laughs> no, no. The, the spiritual reason is that we get our own offspring so that we can train them in very well. They become civilized. And as I told you, Putra, that is the reason. But it is also said that if your son becomes a sannyas, that he delivers thousands for generations of forefathers. But if your son becomes a devotee, all generations are delivered. Right? This is the reason. Tell me why. 
you have no question. Should I start asking? You will get back your consciousness. 
will recognize your consciousness. Okay? So first let us go to that step. Okay? Whatever we are studying and doing research, is it a conscious study that I just read the conscious study? Most of the time is a robotic study. That is why you will say, very few people have contributed to science and engineering. Others are only doing copying and testing. And you go to any physicist, they will say physics has been only contributed by three and a half people. Until now, Newton strongly a conscious person. Okay. Second is Maxwell. Third is Einstein. And half is Max Planck. So where are others? You go to biology, mental. Is it Christian priest? Artificial intelligence started by Roman law was again a Christian priest in Paris. Because the science, this present science started from Christian tradition. So it is all Christian uh, theologists or you know, those who are uh, those who are imbued with Christian uh, culture, they have done. Okay? Thank you. Hare Krishna.